dandy job to come over here to this station to be able to change up the bottles. So what we got here is a station of bottles where we're feeding the uh, nitrogen into the uh, lead cable. So we got some over here, we got some here, and we got some down the line over there. But mostly these ones that are close by. Right now what's happening is the, uh, the bottle's already uh, just about exhausted and the backup too, so it's kind of low. So we're gonna change them all out. And uh, we'll take it from there right now. So we got the, we're trying to set up our truck to lower the bottles out right now, so stand by. We got a new kid, he's learning all the ropes, how to do the gas, and set up all the stuff for us. All right, stand by. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, shut the uh, valve here and we're gonna shut all these bottles down and then we're gonna release the pressure on them this way uh, we can start taking off all the hoses off of them all right stand by for a second we got them all shut off they're all nice and close so right here we're gonna release the pressures you're gonna see right here this gauge hit all the way to the bottom all right all pressure released so now we can take all our hoses off meantime we got the backup here and that one's still holding pressure as you can see there we still got some pressure over here but uh, otherwise step by so I already took all the uh, exhausted bottles off and starting to put back the full ones Here's our hose down here. As we bring him in, the kid's having a hard time still. He's brand new, but uh, we'll get it going right now. All right, stand by. He didn't take this, he's brand new. You didn't want me to say your name, right? Isaac? <laughs> brand new to the gas route. I had to videotape this. Whoa, easy there. I don't know, I might have to turn the video off. <laughs> All right, Don. All right, step by. We got it over the hump. He's doing all right after all. Hey, only a million people are watching you, right, Isaac? Yeah. All right, awesome. Right. I'll take my uh, wrench. Thanks. All right, so we're back over here again. Uh, brand new kid, He's doing great. So here we go over here still. All right, stand by. Getting all the bottles put on, and then we'll go to. Uh, straighten out what's happening is they're both kind of losing the same amount so we got to fix the regulators in order to uh, this one be the backup and this will be our primary bottles over here the five so we're getting her straightened out in a bit all right stand by all right so what we did is put the bottles back now and we're gonna open one up so we get some pressure in there and then we're going to uh, check for leaks. As you see the pressure on the other gauge already up. And this one's coming up. Each bottle holds around from 2,000 to about 23, 2,400 pounds of pressure. So right now it looks like everything's cool. But until we put some soapy water on here on everything... And then we'll check and make sure that's for real, that we don't have no leaks. We try to spray the hoses too some. So with time they do develop little holes. But the most important part is where it connects to the bottles. Ah! I feel like I'm in an arcade trying to hit the holes. Anyways, what we're doing. So we still got good pressure. I don't see no leaks yet. Any bubbles anywhere. So that means she's good to go. So now we'll attempt to open up all the bottles now. And uh adjust the regulator here over here all right stand by for a second 
right, so what we're going to attempt right now is to get the, the exact amount of pressure, what's going on here, and uh, we check it by just pushing, the, allowing the nitrogen to come out, and she's about a nine, so what we're going to do is just turn the regulator up a little bit, and this one over here is showing 10. We'll fix that one a little bit lower so it could be on the secondary backup. So, all right, stand by for a sec. All right, so, so what I did is I just moved the knob there and now we got true 10 PSI on the primary side. Shut it off. This one's good to go. We're gonna transfer over and open this one. As you can hear the, the gas moving now. And we're going to shut this one down so now we can work on this one we are going to change the bottles out because it's around 550 or so and this one then we'll fix that regulator a little bit less than the primary one all right stand by what we're going to do right now is check and see what our uh true psi is right here on this side we shut the valve off there and we're gonna check it right here by fluctuating it. Man, that's pretty low. All right, we'll check it with the new bottle, see if it goes higher. If not, then we'll adjust it. All right, step by. So this is the backup now, so we're gonna open her up after we put our hoses back on. Check our pressure. Open lightly, and we're going to check for leaks first. I don't open the other one until I make sure there's no leaks. This way, I can shut it down and uh, take the pressure off while I'm doing that. So as of right now, I try to give everything a bath. So we find out if there's any leaks in the hoses too. Because these hoses, even though they're still braided, they still have leaks. So as you see right there, she's a little loose. So we're getting a little bubble. So I got to give it the uh, paralyzing, pulverizing grip on that. And hopefully she'll tighten down. All right, stand by. All right, she's good. No bubbles. All right, we'll go ahead and open up the other one. And uh, we'll fix the, and adjust the regulator here. All right, between the two, we got about 2,200. And on the side that goes into the cable, we got about eight. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out, isolate, and so we can see. Now that we got bigger pressures on there. Okay, that's what we want. I still have the uh, valve full, so I'm testing the pressure. Here, I'm checking it right there. All right, eight. That one's at ten. This one's at about eight. And we're good. All right. Now, for sure, this will be the backup instead of both of them almost being even. That's what we got going. All right, stand by. And here we go. About almost their bit twelve. That's what we want. It'll readjust once it stabilizes. All right, we're good. And that's a wrap. And we've got a, our alarm right there, set for the high and lows. So if anything happens and it went flat, it gives an alarm and allows us to see what's going on. Otherwise, it's feeding these two cables here. And Keep the nitrogen pressure to keep the air out. All right, stand by. So now that we set the the main, the primary, 
and the second the secondary backup. So the primary we set it at 10 and this one at eight. They were almost even when we got here. So over here is the uh, the alarm, which is depends where it's set. It could be set at five or even lower. Uh, so it'll alarm. And the, the high side will usually go about 15. So if something happens to the regulator here and she decides to go up higher, uh, the alarm will go off and let us know something's wrong. But that's the way we use the alarm for the uh, nitrogen gas. All right, stand by.